haven't done a home dedicated video in a long time and I know you guys love these videos so I wanted to just talk about my favorite electronics the ones that I use the most and that I find super helpful so if you're interested just keep watching. My diffuser, I've talked your ear off about it, so I'm not gonna get super into it, but it's from Vitruvi. Yes, I am affiliated with them, but I promise you guys that I use this diffuser literally every day, and it prevents me from having to use candles too often, and I don't know about you guys, but when I use candles, at least now that I got a Dyson, the air quality just goes to crap when you use a lot of candles no matter what the candles claim to do if you're burning candles all of that smoke or whatever it is that the candle is emitting it's going to lower the quality of your air and i do collect like luxury pretty packaged candles but I do not burn them that often and I preserve them a lot more because I have my diffusers. It has a setting where it can automatically turn on and off like periodically throughout the day or you can just leave it continuously. I use the continuous setting when I'm gonna have people over if I really want the room to smell very good. So cannot recommend that diffuser enough. I have two of the Dyson fans. I have the tower one and I have the circular one. So one of the main differences that I've noticed with these fans is that I wake up feeling much, much, much better in the morning. Prior to getting these fans, I would wake up with a stuffy nose. It didn't matter how much I cleaned my house, how well I cleaned my air filter, how well I cleaned my fan above my bed. It did not matter how clean I was, I would always wake up feeling very stuffy and very dry and very just congested overall. Ever since I got these fans, I have not had that problem. And I have to attribute that to these fans. I have one in my room, like right next to me uh, where I sleep. And I also have one in the living room. It does a very good job at like filtering the air so when i make popcorn i like to burn my popcorn okay i know it's really weird but i like to like overcook my popcorn and my entire house just smells like burnt popcorn and it takes such a short period of time for these fans to kind of just like filter the air out as opposed to before where my house would smell like burnt popcorn for a very very long time and obviously, you know, it comes with the little chart. It tells you when the air quality is bad, when it's good. And I have tested it. You know, I've put perfume in front of it or Roger has put like hairspray and things and you can see the chart changing. So obviously, you know, that can be kind of gimmicky, but I do notice a difference in the amount of time it takes for like the air quality to kind of change. And obviously I wake up feeling 100% better than I did before. They're very, very expensive. I'm sure that you guys can find something similar for a more affordable price. I know there's a bunch of other options on the market, but personally, I'm not even gonna lie. I love the way that they look and they go with my house. And I think they make them in like two or three colors. I just wanted it to blend in to my decor and it does perfectly since they're both white. So next up is my Roomba. And again, I have poured my heart out to you guys about how much I love this little gadget, okay? Obviously, you do not need a Roomba, but I strongly believe that if it's 2020 and you have something that can vacuum for you, why not? I am gonna talk about my other vacuum, but I think that aside from a regular vacuum, Roombas are excellent, especially if you have pets. If you have pets, I think that you 100% need a Roomba unless you're sweeping your floor every day. At least for me, Dexter sheds a lot. And no matter what I do, no matter how much I clean, you know, I, I will literally mop my floors and the next day there's little white hairs everywhere. He just sheds. It doesn't matter what I feed him. It doesn't matter like what time of the year it is. He just sheds sometimes more than others but he's always shutting. Obviously, I do not recommend Roombas to replace your actual sweeping or your actual like handheld vacuum cleaning, but they are very, very helpful at maintaining your house like dust and hair free between deep cleanings. So aside from the Roomba, I obviously recommend a vacuum. The one that I own 
is perfectly fine for me because I don't really vacuum that often. Uh, when I deep clean my house, I use a Cuban mop <laughs> and that's how I kind of just sweep my floors. Um, so I only really use my shark vacuum to vacuum my couch and my pillows. My vacuum comes with this like lint attachment, which I'm pretty sure I've talked about in the past. And it's one of the only things that removes Dexter's hair off my pillow. You don't need this exact vacuum, just vacuums similar to this that come with attachments that, you know, you can clean your curtains, you can clean higher spaces in your house, you can clean in between your couches, on your couches. All of these attachments are very helpful. So that is the reason why I like to use something other than my Roomba, you know, to be able to vacuum other spaces. Obviously, handheld vacuums are very good to vacuum your rugs as well. Next up, I have my instant cooker. And uh, I haven't really been cooking. I've been getting catered meals lately. I just haven't been in the mood for cooking lately. Uh, but when I do, I almost always use my instant pot. And if you're anything like me, you do not like to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. I don't know if it's the Aries in me, it, I, I just, I don't have patience for certain things and I have to be in the mood to cook in order to be in the kitchen for more than half an hour. So I like things like instant pots where you can literally just throw everything in there and it'll cook itself within like 20 to 30 minutes and you're done. So the next electronic that I'm going to talk about is my food processor. So I personally haven't had a reason to go out and purchase a more advanced or sophisticated food processor, but just food processors in general are very helpful. So what I use it for is acai bowls. I think I've filmed it in the past. It just gives me the best texture for my acai bowls. Obviously, I've also used it to chop up vegetables and stuff and to make like sofrito, but I mostly use it for my acai bowl and I personally love it. Blenders do not do things, certain things, as effectively as food processors, especially if you're making like sauces or you just really want to chop up things a specific way. Next up, I've also talked about this in the past. It's my little shaving device that I use for the pilling on my couch. You could also use this for your pants. If you have sausage thighs like me and they rub, you will probably get pilling <laughs> in between like the thigh area of your pants. So I can't recommend this little device enough. I got mine on Amazon. I'm sure they have a billion different brands but the one that i use works for me and it also works for my couch i actually have to do it because i haven't done it in a long time and from people sitting on your couch or from you sitting on your couch the friction if you have a fabric couch causes pilling which is those little balls of fabric that show up on your couch so this just shaves it and it leaves things smooth and you could also use it on your pillows on your throws Anything that has pilling on it, this is excellent. If you're going to have a scale, I really recommend getting a smart scale. So it doesn't have to be this one, but any smart scale that will give you everything you need to know about your body, specifically body fat. I care more about my body fat percentage than I do my actual weight. These scales are really good. They come with an app for your phone and it helps you track things. So if you are looking to lose weight or gain weight or burn fat or gain fat or muscle, whatever it is, this will give you a full breakdown of your body. And I think you can set up multiple people on the scale. And I don't know, I just find it very helpful if you are going to get a scale for your house. I really feel like smart scales are where it's at. So next up, I have my Ninja coffee maker. And again, this is, I think, an older version because we moved into this house, I believe, like three years ago. So obviously, almost every year, all of these gadgets get updates. But mine is perfectly fine. I don't have a need to update. 
I'm not sure how it compares to other coffee machines on the market, but I personally really love this one. I make my iced coffee, I can make lattes, I can make pitchers of iced coffee, I can make regular coffee, it, it works for me. And I definitely recommend something like this if you're a coffee drinker, if you wanna save some money and not have to order from Starbucks every day. A couch cleaning machine or fabric cleaning machine or rug cleaning machine. It gets rid of almost every stain that I have tried using it on. So uh, it comes with its own little liquid and for me, it has worked perfectly fine. If you have light fabrics in your house, like me, I literally have light fabrics everywhere. All of my rugs are light, my couch is light, my outdoor uh, pillows and cushions are ivory like this is something that you need to have in your house because regular stain removers might not work all the time so this is something that's going to deeply clean the stain it's kind of like a vacuum but it's meant for stain removal so it kind of shoots out water and the detergent that it comes with and it sucks everything up like a vacuum and it has been effective for me and I really recommend it, especially if you have little kids or if you have animals or even if you don't have any of those and you just have a messy husband or fiance or boyfriend or roommate. Cleaning it deeply with these kinds of machines is always going to make them look better than if you do not clean them at all. Because even if you think they're clean, I guarantee you that the water is gonna be disgusting when you're done using this machine. Like, you think things are clean, but they're not. And finally, this is my most recent purchase, and it is my Simple Human Vanity Mirror. And this one was in my recent favorites. It comes with 10 times, five times, and regular magnification so i personally use all of them that's why i got the trio but there are different versions of this mirror which are a little bit more affordable it's still a very expensive bougie mirror okay i'm aware of it i know it but these vanity mirrors are something that i purchased once and i literally have for the rest of my life so the one that i had before i had to get rid of it because it was already rusting and it was like all scratched and things. So I just decided to replace it with this one. The only thing, which I also mentioned this in my favorites, that I do not like about this mirror is that I feel like they didn't really think they're censoring through. Uh, it's a censored mirror. So when you get close to it, it turns on. And when you get a little further away from it, it dims until it completely turns off. So if you're doing your makeup, you know that you have to get a little back to see if things are even and symmetric. And sometimes when I do that, or if I'm like reaching for something and I'm not like super close to the mirror, it turns off on me. So if it's nighttime, you can see how this becomes a problem, especially me, that I don't really have a lot of lights in my house at night. I think I just have to get used to staying near the mirror or if I'm gonna back up, just doing it for like a second then coming back in. I, I have to get used to that. It's something that I'm not used to. Obviously you have your, your real looking magnification, but if you flip it over and you go to the five times magnification, you can really see your blending. And you can see any weird patches or any weirdness going on in your makeup or on your lids. Like your blending is just going to be snatched with this mirror. So it does have a lot more pros than it has cons. So that's everything for this video. I think I covered everything. Hopefully I did and I didn't forget something. If you have any of your own home electronics that you think I need to purchase, please leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out my description. I will leave links and resources to both the Black Lives Matter movement as well as the crisis in Yemen check that down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video.